Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have the final tournament of the year for the regular season for the WTA, the Linz Open. It's happening this week, and we've got some big names playing in this event to finish off the season. We've got some big names also out, so let's go look at the withdrawal list. Taking a look at the players that are out of this event, and it's a long list. Bagu, she's pulled out. Garcia, Golovic, Kanepi, Kostyuk, Lee, Martic, Osorio, Tomjanovic, and Zhang have all pulled out of this event. Taking a look at the top of the draw, and we have eight seeds in this one, with a buy for the top four seeds. And Raducanu, she is the number one seed for the first time in her career in a tournament. She comes in as a wild card, but she is the number one seed. She'll play a qualifier in the second round no matter what, because we've got two qualifiers going at it in the first round. Then we have Cornet versus the wild card Grabria. Winner of that match takes on either Barthel or the number eight seed Risk in the second round. So the player that you gotta watch out for in this one is obviously Raducanu. Let's see how she does because the last couple of losses that she's had have been pretty one-sided. So let's see if she can get back into some form and let's see if she can deal with the pressure of being the favorite to win a tournament. Second part of the draw now, and we've got Collins. The number three seed gets a buy in the first round. She awaits the winner of Minnan versus Dodden, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Van Udvang versus the wildcard Kraus. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number five seed Alexandrova in the second round. The two players that I'm watching out for in this one, you gotta watch out for Collins and also Alexandrova. Rover. Just coming off a win with Russia at the Billie Jean King Cup. So she'll be full of confidence. Interested to see how she does this week. And don't forget this part of the draw, take on the Raducanu part of the draw. So this is all the top section of the draw, which means the semi-finalist is going to be maybe Raducanu versus either Collins or Alexandrova if we're going by the rankings. But of course, WTA is not as simple as that. Bottom half of the draw now, and we've got the number six seed, Kastea. She's taking on the Russian Rakamova in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Pedersen in the second round. Then we've got Kalanina versus Trevison. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Kudamatova. And you've got to watch out for Kudamatova. She's coming off the Fed Cup win along with Alexandrova, so she'll be full of confidence in this event. And she's had a pretty good 2021 as well. So she'll be looking to finish strong and she'll be a very tough opponent with a lot of confidence going into this week. In the bottom part of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Paolini. She takes on Yastremska in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Borel or Zhang in the second round. Then we've got Ferro versus Sastovic. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Simona Halep, who comes in as a wild card. So we're going to be watching Halep this week, of course. Got to keep an eye on her. Did really well last week. Got back into some form at the Transylvania Open. She lost in the final, but she got some wins under her belt and she got to get to the final there. So interested to see how she does this week. And are we going to finally get that Raducanu matchup that everyone wants? The Raducanu versus Hellet matchup. Don't forget, this part of the draw takes on the Kudamatova part of the draw as well. So Hellet will like her chances in the bottom half of the draw. It feels like it's a little bit easier. But then again, you've got dangerous players like Sasnovich, who's been in some really good form of late. And that could be the second round opponent for Halep. So we'll see how it all plays out, but it's going to be a fun tournament to end the season. So there you have it. There is the Lintz Open, and the defending champion is actually Sabalenka. She's playing the WTA Finals, of course, but we've got some big names still playing. You've got Kudamatova, who's in great form at the moment. Obviously, you've got Halep and Raducanu as well as the number one and two seeds. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? Taking a look at the draw here, and I'm going to go with Alexandrova to win this one. I feel like she's got a pretty good draw, and after winning the Fed Cup with Team Russia, I think she might be able to get through this and she's at the top half, which is very dangerous. You've got players like Collins and Raducanu up the top. But I just think Alexandrova, you know, these tournaments always have random champions. She's the number five seed. So I'm going to go with her this week to take out the last event of the season. Again, let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? For the Lintz Open, the final event of the season before the WTA Finals, who's going to finish with a win?